a delightful box straight from the Logitech store. Bought me a new mouse. I'm using the MX anywhere, but I need a few more buttons. So I went ahead and bought this one. Sadly, Logitech doesn't give you any notice that it's shipped, that you have an order. Nothing, nothing came in my email. Very simple packaging. Came safely, so far as we know. This is the G604. Has plenty of buttons for gaming, shooting, whatever you need. Normally it's shooting games. I don't think you'd really need all them buttons for a racing game. Unless you like your turn signals. On the outside of the box, it can be Bluetooth or the lightning adapter. It says it has 15 different buttons. It has a Hero 25 sensor, which I love so much because I can use it on glass. And I do get a lot of uh, a lot of interest when I'm at train stations and such uh, using their end tables. Light speed up to 240 hours, and then Bluetooth mode up to 4.5 months. To me, that's kind of weird. Why wouldn't you do um, hours on both of them? Uh, and then it turns into a bunch of stuff. What you need. USB port, Bluetooth, internet access to the G-Hub software. Does not say it needs a battery. What's included? AA battery sweep. Hopefully it's a nice dirt cell. That's the only brand that I go with. Here we go. Looks like it's never been on a shelf before because I had to bend that tab up. Pretty nice. Like I pull that down. Looks like it has a slide out arrow. Nothing else in the box. The color collection. Welcome to the fresh. They just want to show off. You buy a nice mouse and then they show you one that's even nicer. How nice of them. That's in the box. A nice uh, sticker. It's not transparent. Looks like it's going to be white with their logo on there they like their advertising looks like it is a duracell the copperhead nice so we have the safety stuff causes cancer in california the most simple instructions i've ever found if you want these pause it screenshot it and then look at your screenshots we're going to be setting this up with bluetooth very simple and there's the device, but I'm going to get in here somehow. There's the battery. Non, not for retail sale. Feels heavy, so it's going to be a good battery. Looks like it's a USB extension. Wasn't seeing an extension coming. Looks like an extension with a really weird mount to place it down. Oh, extension because the lightning cable goes in there. Lightning adapter. Pull these out like this. And cool, it comes right apart. That's it for the unboxing part of that. It's kind of nice they bring it up closer to you, even though it has a pretty good range. Looks like that's about three foot long. There's the mouse itself, brand new. Let's tear this off. I like that the on and off switch does have a little bit of grip on it. The pads aren't even broken. It's a very uh, well-balanced mouse. Just trying out the buttons real quick. Yeah, it feels great. I love the wideness right here. feels a bit grippy, feels like it would really collect the dirt. Plus and a minus right there. Now this button is not the gesture button if you have an MX anywhere. That pushes it. See how that spins. You push that. Now don't make any noise. You guys can see it spinning. Which it's spinning forever. I'm going to stop it. And now it's back to a normal mouse. You do have little arrows there indicating left and right. Clicks are fine. Looks like we got tear off here. Tear off. Because that probably scratches super easy. Then we have the button to switch it back and forth. I really think that could have been on the bottom. There's no charging port because this one does take a battery. 
No buttons on the right side. And it looks like there's a little bit of a crease right there to just pop off the back. Oh, that came off super easy. And right there is the lightning adapter. Even says G604 on it. There we go. Simple, compact, nice that it fits in there for people that don't use it. The battery goes in facing outward. A little light blinking for Bluetooth, maybe. I don't like how that fits on there. Yeah, it just kind of falls off. I think it should have a little bit more to it. But it's just a mouse to get me by. Doesn't look like there's any light that goes off on the bottom. Shut it off. That light shuts off. Turn it back on. Light comes on. I also don't think there's a battery indicator. There's one more tear off. I can't get it, but I'll get it off video. There we go. That's the unboxing of the G604. Okay, I got my G604 right here. We're going to shut it off. We're going to go down to your Bluetooth settings. Somehow get to your Bluetooth settings. Show Bluetooth. Pops up just like that. Wish I could screen show you, but it's easier to make a video like this. Add Bluetooth or other device. I'm going to turn it on now. Light is a blinking. And we're going to click the top one. If it doesn't pop up, we're probably going to have to push a button on the device somewhere to make it start searching. I'm going to push the button and see what it does. Now it's blinking faster. And now it just shut off. This is my first time set up for this. So, so I went ahead and read the instructions a little bit. You got to press and hold that for five seconds, two seconds for the lightning adapter there we go it turned to a different blue did you see that there we go logitech light speed 604 I'm gonna click on that connected i'm moving it around oh there we go now it's a moving i can't really show you guys unless i'm like, like this and it's all working definitely gonna have to get used to it it's a it's a bigger mouse with buttons on the side so there we go, that's how you set it up. Yep, definitely different, bigger. Thanks for watching. So we are just starting the app. I don't know what microphone you guys are going through. Hopefully it's a good one. Uh, I decided to launch this software which is the G Hub, and uh, it immediately did an update. So I was like, I'm not going to record. Well, then I restarted, and uh, it it says it's says it's downloading the resources. Now my internet is super duper slow today, so uh, I'm going to let it download it, and then uh, I'll show you what all you can do in here. Okay, I don't know if it caught that, but this uh, started doing a profile and then popped up something down at the bottom. It didn't take too long. Not too long at all. This could take a while, who knows? Tells me how good my battery is, it's kind of nice. Okay, so the app just sat there saying something about profile, so I had to restart the app and it loaded right in, no problem. Let's see what all we can do in here. I am 
I'm trying to make it so you guys can see maybe what buttons I'm hitting. Make your play light speed. Well, it shows the mouse. We'll see what all I can do. Hopefully I can customize every single one of them. Nice, you can go between two computers. Just started. Holy crap. Thank God I could move that. That's a bit too fast. Well, let me move this one down. There we go. I like about 2400. Let's, let's try it just a little bit. I feel like it's a bit radical. Okay, 2000. No, it's still a bit too fast. I'm old. <laughs> okay. What's these buttons do? Here we go. Micros, commands. What's this? Since, so this is only sensitivity. Choose how often the mouse reports information to your computer. And down here is assignments. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Commands, drag the command to your target. No, it's not. I don't need commands. At keys, no. Actions. That's kind of nice, but that's not what I do. Then we have system. So I want this to be. So page back. Battery low. Let's see if that does any. It says to drag it out here. Eh, so if I press up button, what does it do? It does does absolutely nothing. Great. And now I just accidentally made it back to 800, which is cool, but not what I wanted to do. So this is all you can do. Let's see if I can get it to do the back. Okay, I want back. Now when I'm on a web page, hold on, I'm launching a web page. It's the best one ever. Once it loads, Waiting for it to for it to go, even though I'm the one that got rid of it. Hey, it went backwards. Now we need forwards. Let's see for forward. Now this is setting it up on your desktop. Of course, you gotta go somewhere else and uh, middle click. You can even have it do something, but you gotta watch out because if you're in a game and you click the button. It's going to launch whatever that is. Okay, now let's load this back up. Instead, I launch something else. Now let's push the forward button. It should take me to YouTube. I do miss gestures. There we go. And then that button will make it go back. There. Works. Pretty cool. So now you just customize these however you want. Looks like you can put about anything in here. We'll go from there. Thanks for watching.